Okay, this is a quick um, video overview of the concept of photon and emission and absorption in atoms, with the key concept being that a photon is discrete. You either have one of it or zero of it. You can't split its energy um, and the like. So let's imagine we have a simple atom with the following three energy levels. We got some ground state, and actually I need more board real estate, so that'll be the ground state. Okay, we'll call that E sub zero. Hey, look, we have another energy level drawn for us, so that's E sub one. And then we'll just say this is a three level atom with E sub two. In general, it's true that even though this is a fake atom, for every atom, the spacing between the energy levels decreases as you get to higher and higher energy levels. So the ground state, by definition, has an energy of zero. Let's say that E1 has an energy of three units of the, above the ground state. And let's say E2 has an energy of four units above the ground state. Well, if I put an electron in, for, if I excite it for some reason, the electron, electrons are well known to be blue, uh, and it's in the second excited state above the ground state, well, in this case, the electron can, the atom can emit three possible photon energies, or three possible photons, and it works as follows. This could fall directly from the second excited state to the ground state, thereby emitting a photon of energy level, of energy equal to the energy difference between those two levels. So out would come a photon of energy equal four in that case. Or this electron could transition to the first excited state, which would produce a photon of energy equal one, because that's the energy level difference between four and three. And then it could fall to the ground state, because it has to get to the ground state eventually thereby emitting a photon of energy equal 3. So in this simple three-level atom, there are three possible photon energies that the atom can emit. It can emit a photon of energy 1, or energy 3, or energy 4. Now, let's take the case where the electron is sitting in energy, the first excited state. The only thing that can happen, there are only two things that can happen to this electron. The first is that, oops, vibration, stop that. The first is that it can again fall back to the ground state, uh, producing a emitted photon of energy equal three, but if an incoming photon, you see that, kind of, has energy equal to 1, then an absorption can occur because the energy difference, the energy of the incoming photon is exactly equal to the energy difference between a lower level that the electron is and some excited level. So in that case, the electron can be excited and temporarily move to the second excited state. That photon has been absorbed, it's been destroyed, and then it could fall back to the ground state, an emitting a photon of energy equal 1, or it could fall back to the first excited state, emitting a photon of energy equal 1. And if it does this, and then we have an outgoing energy photon equal 1, and if no new incoming photon comes, then it will fall down to uh, the ground state and emit that photon again. What many of you don't, didn't seem to grasp is simply that a photon energy is discrete. It has to be an exact match. Photons don't share energy. They're either completely annihilated or they completely pass through the atom. And so if we have a photon of energy, in, incoming energy, energy equal to two units, and the electron is in this stage, 
that photon will simply pass right through the atom. No interaction is possible. Many of you thought that somehow those two units of energy could somehow be shared and one unit of energy would go uh, to excite the electron from the first to the second side of state and the photon would then keep on going with only one unit of energy. That can't happen. Nature doesn't let that happen. Photons are discrete. You either have one or zero of them. They do not split their energy under any circumstances. So in the case where an incoming photon has an energy that doesn't match any possible upward transition in any atom, no interaction with that atom occurs.